Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews. I am Eric and today I'm excited to uh, unbox and then demo for you this ZG Cine Directional Condenser Shotgun Microphone. Uh, this is a professional video microphone. It does have uh, low self noise. It does have gain control, real-time monitoring, and broadcast quality. Uh, some of the features, it is a super cordioid mic. Frequency range is 50 to 20 kilohertz, 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Has a 3.5 millimeter output interface. Signal to noise ratio is 80 dBA. Um, there's a sensitivity, maximum SPL. It uh, goes for about 30 hours on a single uh, charger battery. Um, low distortion. Uh, really excellently made professional microphone. So let's uh, first, we're just going to unbox it, take a look at what comes in the box. And then I'm going to demo for you, demo it for you so you can hear and see it in action. So there you go. You can see you've got the user manual there on top. So you've got that, tells you how to use it. You've got your dead cat wind muff. So there's your dead cat for if you're filming in windy environments, you can cover it with that to help reduce that wind noise. Uh, you've got some wires, it looks like. Yep, you've got, uh, this is gonna be, they include wires for connecting this to a video camera, like I'm filming with now, as well as for a, uh, if you're connecting it to a phone, this is the phone specific cable. And you can see that because it's got the three rings there. And then it has the wire for connecting it to a video camera like I'm using now. And I love that they, actually put a tag on there that tells you what it's for. It says camera ca cable, so you know. You can leave that tag on there to make it easy for you. And you can see because it only has two rings on each side. So those are included in the box. And then right here, I'm guessing this is gonna be a charging cable. Because it does have a built-in battery. This is a type C charging cable, because that's how you charge it. It has a nice little Velcro tie there to keep it all organized. And then, this is the mic itself. It does have a, uh, does come with a shock mount. This is sort of a very, that's nice. It's like a rubberized shock mount so that you don't get vibration noise from the microphone itself, uh, which is great. And uh, it is covered with a wind muff right now. I'm gonna take that off so that you can see the microphone itself. This is the actual microphone here. And uh, let's take it out of the shock mount so that you can, first of all, just take a quick look at that shock mount. Like I said, these are rubberized so that it will absorb shock. And then you've got your cold shoe mount there with also the tripod mount uh, threading on the bottom so that you can use this uh, however you need to and mount it wherever you need to. This is the mic itself. You've got your uh, out to the uh, camera or phone. You've got your headphone plug, so you can plug headphones in here so that you can hear directly, uh, specifically what this microphone is picking up, the way it's picking it up. You've got your gain control down here on the end. And then on the bottom here, you've got your power button right there to power it on. And then here you've got your filter pass. I'm gonna have to check out the manual, but there's a little LED indicators above these. So my guess is one is to power this on, and then you probably press it again if you wanna turn either one or both of these on. Well, you wouldn't have both on, you'd have one or the other on. So that's probably how that works. It's all electronically controlled through that button. I have to check the manual out and see. But this is the microphone, and those are all the features that it has. Um, so now we're gonna jump over to some video to show this in action, show you how it works so you can uh, hear the difference for yourself in using uh, this microphone for recordings. Okay, so right now I'm using the shotgun mic on top of my camera and uh, this is the sound you get. I'm standing pretty much really close to the camera, probably about uh, two and a half to three feet from the camera. So this would be even like if you were hand holding a camera and vlogging, this would be about the distance. And I don't have any of the uh, low pass filters on, just using the uh, standard uh, mic just without any filtering. Uh, and this is what it sounds like. 
Okay, so uh, right now I'm standing again close to the camera like you were vlogging, uh, but I do have the uh, low filter uh, pass 75 turned on. So that's what this sounds like with the filter turned on using the uh, shotgun, shotgun uh, cardioid mic. Uh, I have the mic itself at about 50% volume uh, with the built-in gain and then the rest of the volume I'm controlling through my camera. Um, but that's what this sounds like. So here I'm standing right in front of the camera, right in front of the mic again as if I were vlogging. And right now uh, with the uh, ZG Cine mic I have the 150 low pass filter on. So that's, this is the sound that you're hearing using that 150 low pass filter uh, on the uh, shotgun uh, cordioid mic and this is what it sounds like. So now I'm standing in front of the camera and just using my camera's built-in mic. Now my camera has a more advanced built-in mic than a lot of cameras out there. So the difference may be uh, uh, greater if you're uh, using a lot of cameras that don't have the best uh, built-in mics. My camera has a pretty decent built-in mic, but still uh, built-in mics just are never going to give you the same quality as a dedicated shotgun microphone will. Anyway, this is as if I'm vlogging, uh, standing right in front of the camera uh, with the built-in mic, and that's what this sounds like. So right now I'm recording this using my uh, phone and using the built-in mic on the phone. This is a vlog distance, so I'm foot and a half, two feet away from the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. And this is what it sounds like just using the built-in mic. So right now I'm standing pretty close to the iPhone 13 again, like I'm vlogging about two and a half, three feet away. Uh, and I am using the uh, Z G Cine shotgun mic with the 150 uh, low pass filter enabled. So this is the sound that you get. Uh, I have the volume level at about 75 or 80. And again, using the uh, low pass 150 low pass filter. And this is the sound, uh, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so right now I'm still using the built-in mic on the camera and I'm standing about five to six feet away from the camera and uh, using the built-in mic uh, on the camera, uh, the Sony ZV-1 is my camera. Using that built-in mic, uh, this is the sound you get uh, in comparison to using the shotgun mic. And now I'm about uh, five to six feet away from the camera. Uh, again, still have the 75 uh, low pass filter turned on and uh, this is the sound you're getting. That's just what this uh, sounds like using the uh, shotgun uh, cordioid mic from ZC Jenny. Okay, so now I'm about uh, five or six feet away from the uh, camera, uh, away from my iPhone, and this is what that sounds like. Uh, standing about five or six feet away from the iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max and just using the built-in mic to record this audio. Now I'm about five or six feet away from the iPhone, still using the shotgun mic, uh, same volume level, about uh, 65, 70 is the volume level, and with the five to six feet from me to the uh, iPhone 13 and the uh, shotgun mic, and that's what this sounds like. So hopefully you could hear in those uh, samples why this Z G Cine uh, Super Cardioid mic is so good. Uh, a lot of great features. Very easy to operate. You long press that power button to turn it on, and then you short press to turn on the either the 75 or the 150 uh, low pass filters, and then press again to turn those off. Long press it again to turn the power off, and then your simple gain slash volume built in volume control is here, and you just charge it back up using that Type C charging port. Really uh, easy operation, simple operation. Again, this is a uh, this is not a super high end. Uh, ultra expensive shotgun mics because you can spend thousands of dollars on shotguns and mics. This is a very affordable uh, super cardioid shotgun mic and you could hear in the samples it does a good job. It certainly is better than a lot of the built-in microphones on a uh, phone or on a camera and both of mine. I have the you know Pro Max iPhone so it probably has one of the best built-in mics of a phone. I have a Sony ZV-1 camera that has a really excellent built-in mic uh, on it. Uh, but this is still better than those and if you are using a camera that doesn't have such a great built-in microphone or your average phone then you're going to even see a bigger difference because uh, with the shotgun mic like this it just helps to get uh, better sound especially being able to use those low pass filters and filter out unwanted noise. Uh, so if you're looking for an affordable shotgun mic uh, this one by ZG Cine is definitely a mic that I would recommend. 
that's going to be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you know anyone who might be interested in this product, share this video with them. All those ways are down there. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel or favorite this playlist to keep up with future product reviews. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. That's going to be it. Until next time, so be safe and be happy.